This video is for calibration for a Waylog 200. To enter the calibration mode, first with the power off, power switches on the back of the unit, press and hold the clear button and turn the unit on. It immediately displays Cal 1 and then it uh, displays the type of weighing that we are have selected for that channel. As you can see, the icon is above channel one. In this particular play, case, it says DYN, or dynamic weighing. If you wished to weigh in static, you would press and hold the clear button and use the middle button to change it. We are going to calibrate channel one in dynamic. That is the proper way to calibrate a Waylog 200 because channel 1 being in dynamic the speed compensation will be used for all subsequent dynamic channels so if channel number 2 was calibrated to dynamic it would also use the speed compensation for cha uh, from channel 1 so there is only one speed compensation set up for the Waylog 200 uh, and that is in channel number one. If you set channel one to static, you will not have speed compensation in channel two and subsequent channels. So to uh, move on to the next setup in the calibration, press the uh, clear enter button. In this particular case, even though this looks a little hieroglyphic, this is trying to tell us that we have the uh, system set in manual. This is the bucket adding uh, to change again. Uh, does a much better job of displaying auto as you can see. Manual or auto means that if you press the button, the remote enter button, each time that you lift it will add. In auto it will add automatically. For our calibration we're just going to leave this in manual so that we can uh, go ahead and press the remote enter button. Uh, moving on to the next particular setup, as you saw it flashed CalF, and now it is displaying 1.00. This is the calibration factor that makes the unit read the proper amount of weight, whether that's pounds or tons. The Manual indicates that you should change this number to match uh, the rough approximation of the capacity of the bucket. In most cases, leaving it at 1.00 is, is certainly acceptable and the unit will calibrate if you just leave this number the way it is. Notice that the number one is flashing. I am going to demonstrate how you do digit select and digit set in this particular uh, setup. If the number one is flashing, if you press and hold the clear enter button and you press the middle button, subsequent digits will flash as you can see. In order to change that digit, you would immediately press back down on it once it was flashing. You can see that it scrolls up and I'm going to reset this back to one, but you can see that you can set each one of those digits that way. If you uh, don't get it set exactly right, just keep in mind, as long as you press and hold the clear enter button, you can go back around, and as you saw, you can actually move the decimal point in that particular case as well. So we're going to be satisfied with just leaving 1.00 in there for a calibration. We press the clear enter button and the unit immediately uh, tells us to load fast. Load fast means this. It means that we are going to run the RPM of the loader up at a high RPM. We are going to put a full bucket uh, load into the uh, bucket and then we're going to raise the uh, raise the bucket at a high RPM. This does not mean that when it asks for slow that we should feather the lift at all. We should always 
bring the lever full back into the lock detent position and lift all the way to the top. So for this particular situation, we do have a simulator here. Um, it has, at this point, displayed a number. This number is a frequency number. It doesn't really mean that much uh, to, the, uh, to the people who are doing the calibration. Uh, but once the bucket is in the air and the display is flashing like you see right now, you would press the button to set that, the clear enter button, lower the bucket back down, and then do a slow lift. And you can see that it again displayed a number. Pressing the clear enter button will make it move on to the next one. This particular message that it's trying to display here is empty fast. So we empty the bucket and we lower the uh, lift arms back down or the bucket back down and we simply lift at, again at our fast speed. Notice that the number that it displays with the bucket empty is much less than the number that it displayed with the full. Again, it's asking us for a slow lift. We simply lower the bucket down and do a slow lift. Again, it displays a number and uh, at this point uh, we press the clear enter button and it will say zero lift. Zero lift is again bucket still empty, so we're just going to go ahead and do at a quote quote normal RPM, whatever that is, just do a normal lift. And again, it displays a number, and we press the clear enter button, and it goes on to the next setup, which is load. Load, in this particular case, we do have the head unit set to read in tons. And what it's telling us is that our load, that we're, a known load that we're going to put into the bucket is one ton. If it is not one ton, and in this particular case, we're going to change it to uh, 2.5 ton. Remember when we were talking about the Cal F uh, factor that you notice that there was a way for you to set those particular uh, numbers. You get them flashing and then you press and hold on the center key and it increments up. So in this case we've told it that our load is going to be 2.5 ton. We press the clear enter button and it tells us to go ahead and do a regular lift. So we are going to just lift this up. And it, again, it doesn't read our number 2.5, but it reads a number um, that's someplace between what our heaviest lift was and what our zero lift was. We press the clear enter button and it says Cal done. At this point, to check to make sure that the calibration is taken, you would simply turn the unit off and power it back up without any buttons pushed and at this point it's popped into the regular operate mode it's reading 0.00, .00. and remember that we told it that this particular load was 2.5 tons so if we lift this up it should indeed read 2.5 tons which is exactly what it does this would tell you that your calibration was complete and that your accuracy test for that, uh, that particular load uh, would be correct so there would be no need to adjust the scale. For the sake of saying that it might not be exactly as you had told it during the lift, let us also at this point talk about nudging the scale because this is a part of the calibration. At this point we thought that the load was 2.5 ton, but we ran it over a scale, and we now discovered that the load is actually 2.8 ton. So the bucket's in the air, and we 
can now nudge the scale without going back into the calibration mode itself by pressing and holding the ref key you'll notice that something has changed when all of the icons around the outside have in, have lit up just like you see here on the display you can use the print key to increase the weight one hundredth at a time or the zero key to lower the weight and again we had decided that this load was actually 2.8 ton and so we simply step this up to that point and we release both keys and at that point the unit says done now it doesn't display 2.8 right at this moment because it locked on to our old calibration weight but if we lower the bucket and raise it again having now told it that it was 2.8 ton in this case we got 2.79 which is 20 pounds but this is again if the calibration the actual weight is a bit wrong you use the ref key to do the nudge that would complete our video for this particular unit for the Waylog 200